Hello uh, there. Um, yeah, just uh, out in the sun today. Oh shit, there's something on the bottom. I was just like, oh, well, oh, doing some bonsai. Bonsai, as you can see here. Nice bonsai. It's a box elder maple. Actually, a seed from uh, this big one here. Found it in the ground. I was going to go to waste, I saw the shape of it, I was like, yeah, I can do something with that. So what I've currently done so far is just bend this bit here, right here, put a bit of wire in there, just initiating the bend, and um, at the end of last spring I took that wire out to, um, because it kind of cut into the tree a bit and I'd like that to heal, and um, yeah, I basically got it to... Um, create this whole canopy that I got going here just otherwise if I didn't um, if I didn't um, do this to the tree it would have like like this this tree is about two months two months younger than this one but I haven't even touched this one at all this one I'm just gonna do something else with uh, not too sure at the moment but <clears throat> Basically what I'm doing today is I'm adding more wires to branches and stuff to straighten them out and um, get them growing in the direction that I want them to. Like this one right here, I decided to put a double hook system in and so I had excess wire that I usually cut off and I just bent it in a way so as this limb grows I can adjust this so I can keep the same, same angle going uh, without having to replace the wire so yeah and I'm gonna be doing that pretty much with the rest of it and the next piece that I am going to try straighten out hang on oh yeah this bit right here but yeah it is like I gotta make this one longer because if I bend this one down it's gonna detach so Oh, hang on. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. But, yeah, I'm basically trying to get the canopy to spread out from the trunk. So, at such a small um, stage in its life. And, here's a Japanese maple I worked on earlier. And there's another one the same age. that These ones used to be growing in the same pot. I've separated them. And they seem to be doing a lot better now, so... I should actually separate them again, but I will get to that later. Last but not least, got the um, jacaranda going. See the jacaranda in the background? It's, yeah, one of them. They take forever to grow. It's like, that thing's like two years old. It's like tiny. But yeah, apparently it's got a really deep taproot or something, uh, I don't know, but, yeah, um, yeah, back to bonsai, I'll get back to you after I've done this one, and show you what I did, oh uh, yeah, the tools that I'm using is a massive magnifying glass, yeah, check out that sucker, so pulled it out of an um, old party light that had old arc lamps in it and stuff, also got the gobo wheels and the dichroic lenses and stuff as well. They're pretty cool to play with lasers and stuff with that kind of stuff. But yeah, using this to um, heat up the metal because I've got to poke a few holes and I don't like using lighters. So yeah, massive magnifying glass it is. Let's actually, let's see if I can, but yeah, basically just trying to, Let's see if I can get it here. Oh, fuck, that's bright. Yeah, I need sunglasses or something. But I'm gonna do it down here on this, um, piece here, I'm just gonna try. Heat that up, it might burn the wood, but. Yeah. Pretty bright, eh? There we go, there's a full. Damn it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's 
still going down here. Yep, we're heating up that cider. It's burning the wood slightly, but yeah, that should be hot enough now to poke a hole. Anyway, let's see if it works. And we have success. It poked a hole. How's that? Engineering with this one? Ta da! But, um, yeah. Also, I got this tripod thingy I made earlier out of heat sink and a piece of Lego. Just to hold my phone, but I figured now it fits on barbecue all right. But, uh, yeah. And, um, yeah, I'll get back to that and I'll show you later. All right, what I've done here, I've poked the hole through, as you can see right there, and I am going to now bend that up once I got it in the right position. But yeah, that's a lot of excess, I'm going to trim a bit of that, but yeah. Anyways, back to it, I'll show you later. So basically what I've done is replaced that bit right there, which um, went through that spot right there. So that's now holding down this branch and training it to grow outwards. Yes, they're kind of weird, like making trees small, fighting nature to actually get it to grow in a certain shape. Eventually if I can I want to turn this into a chair. So. I'm already growing the shapes in it and stuff, so um, I'm thinking about doing that with a couple of other trees, maybe a couple of Australian hardwoods and stuff. Just grow them into shapes and stuff to use in furniture and whatnot. Um, just through that training and stuff, I reckon it would look pretty cool. So um, yeah. Anyways, this is gardening with DJ Esky. Have a nice day. Party hard. See ya. Bye.